to me Familia Bakery and Culinary Delight. This is me, your friend Bernice Concha, who is here today to show you another wonderful recipe. The recipe that I have for you today is a recipe that is really dear to my heart and is from my country, Dominican Republic. The name of the recipe is called Janiqueques Dominicanos. And what is Janiqueque? Janiqueque is a very good fried bread, but you know that you must know how to do it because if you don't know how to do it, then it's not gonna come out right. Hola a todos. Bienvenidos a mi familia bakery y arte culinario. Esta soy yo, tu amiga de siempre, Berenice Concha, quien viene otra vez a mostrarte otra receta maravillosa. La receta de hoy es de mi país y es bien, 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 bien cerca de mi corazón y se llama Yaniqueques Dominicanos. En los dominicanos saben a qué me refiero. So, let's get started. Comencemos. Okay, now I am ready to show you how to do de Yaniqueques Dominicanos. Ahora yo estoy lista para mostrarte cómo se hacen los Yaniqueques Dominicanos. Stretchy and delicious, latigosos y sabrosos. So you have to pay attention, tienen que poner atención, because there is a trick in this recipe that not everyone know what to do, but I know what to do. Tú tienes que poner atención porque hay un truquito en esta receta para que los yaniqueques te salgan y nadie más lo sabe, ¿ok? Pero yo lo sé y te lo voy a mostrar. So follow me. Come over here, sígueme. Over here, aquí. Over here, I have three cups of all-purpose flour. Aquí tengo tres tazas de harina. To this, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar, una cucharada de azúcar. I'm going to add to this one tablespoon of baking powder, una cucharada de polvo de hornear. Right? I'm also going to add to this one teaspoon of salt, una cucharadita de sal. Okay, and I'm going to mix this together. These are the dry ingredients. I'm gonna mix them together. All right. Okay, now, voy a poner esto en mi máquina. I'm going to put the dry ingredients in the machine. Okay? You're going to turn on the machine in low. La vas a prender en, 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 en bajo. A esto le vas a agregar un cuarto de taza de mantequilla derretida. Alright, one and four of a cup of melted butter, two large eggs, dos huevos grandes, okay, And now, here is the trick. To do this recipe, you need cold water. Para hacer esta receta, tú necesitas agua fría. And I have over here one cup of cold water. Aquí tengo una taza de agua fría. And I'm gonna add it to the dough. Alright, 
So we're gonna let that mix. Okay, let's take the ingredients and mix them together like this. All right, and if the dough is too wet, si la masa está demasiado mojada, so you can add more flour. At this point, we don't know how it's gonna be yet. En este punto no sabemos cómo va a estar, pero, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm too excited, estoy muy emocionada. Okay, I'm gonna add more flour because it's a little bit wet. One more cup of flour. Alright. Okay, let me tell you something. If you don't have a machine, you can do the same thing by hand. Si tú no tienes una máquina, tú puedes hacer el mismo proceso a mano. Okay, so let's keep doing this. Vamos a seguir. For la máquina. I'm gonna put a little bit more of flour. Alright. Perfect. Here. You see how all the flour is collected from the sides. Mira como toda la harina está ya colectada de los lados. ¿Ves? Entonces vamos a seguir ahora a entrar en la etapa número 2, que es la etapa de amasarlo. Now we're going to start the second stage, which is the stage of kneading inside the bowl. This is the way we work. Así es como va a trabajar. You're going to add a little bit more of flour. Okay. Right? You turn off the machine, you put the, the bowl down, and then you collect all the flour like that. You collect everything, you clean, make sure you collect everything. As you collect todo. By hand, you will be doing the same process. And here is the trick. Over here, I have half a cup of oil. You're gonna add a little bit of that oil to the machine. Like that. exactly the same thing. You don't have to add all the oil. No tienes que agregarle todo el aceite. Like about one tablespoon. Como una cucharada como yo la agregué. So now I turn off the machine. Apago la máquina. Y colecto toda la que está. Así. You see? Check this out. You see that? That's what you want. Eso es lo que tú quieres. Le sube poquito. Le rocea. You sprinkle a little bit of the flour. Like that. And you put more oil. This is a process. Esto es un proceso. You 
see how the dough is? ¿Ves cómo se ve la masa? A little bit more of flour. You have to keep adding a little bit of the flour until it doesn't get sticky. Hasta que no esté tan pegajosa. You see? And then you keep adding the oil little by little. You see how nice? It's not that sticky anymore. You sprinkle a little bit of the flour. You add the oil. Le pone un poquito de aceite. Otro poquititico de harina. Like that. And then you keep adding the oil. See? That's what you are looking for. Only a little sprinkle. Look at that. A little not too much. Solo un poquititico nada más. No demasiado. See that? That's what you're looking for. Then you put the bowl down. Pones el bowl para abajo. Okay. Y colecta todo. That's, that's what you're looking for right there. That's the perfect dough. Eso es lo que tú estás buscando. Now, you put it back a little bit more. Another sprinkle. Like that. Otro chorreadito. Okay, this dough is ready. Let me show you something. You see the dough? It's not too dry. Mira la masa, no está muy seca, pero tampoco está muy mojada. Así es como tú la quieres. Mira. That's the way you want it. Let me show you something. Look at that. You see? It's stretchy. That's what you're looking for. Now, this is what you're gonna do now. To this dough, right? You're gonna take. Okay, this is what you're gonna do now. To this dough, you're gonna take some oil. You're gonna put it in your hand. Vas a poner aceite en tu mano. Okay? La vas a agarrar. You're gonna take the dough like that. You're gonna put it over here, and this is what you're gonna do. Look, look at that. See? That's how you do it. Now, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna make bowls like this. You're gonna make bowls like that. See? You're gonna make bowls like this. Vas a hacer bolitas así. It depends of how many Jani Keke's you want. Depende de cuántos Jani Keke's tú quieras. Okay? I'm gonna take more oil. Okay? More oil. Vegetable oil. I'm gonna wet my hands. You have to keep your hands greasy like this, okay? 
This is the trick of the Yanni Kekes, the oil. I'm showing you the trick today, so honey, you better learn it. Te estoy mostrando el truco de cómo hacer esta suculencia. So, apréndelo. See? See? You're gonna make bowls like this. Pen. It depends of how many do you want. Okay? I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. 3 cups of flour and 12 Johnny cakes. Take a little bit of this one. See? And you put it here. See? Look, this is what you're gonna do. Now, with this one, all right? So, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take these bowls and you're gonna cover them. You're gonna cover them with a cloth and you will put this inside the refrigerator for 15 to 20 minutes. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you how you form the big and stretchy Johnny Keke. Tú coges esto, lo tapas con un paño y lo pones dentro de tu refrigerador por 20 a 15 minutos. Después, yo voy a regresar para mostrarte cómo hacer los Johnny Keke's bien grandote y sabroso. So, nos vemos después de 20 minutos. See you later after 20 minutes. Bye. Okay, now I'm ready to show you how you do the Gianni Keke Dominicano. After 20 minutes, the dough was inside the refrigerator and now it's ready. Okay, ya estoy lista para enseñarte cómo se hacen los Gianni Keke Dominicano. La masa estaba dentro del refrigerador por 20 minutos y ahora te lo voy a mostrar. Now I'm gonna show you. Look. You see, this dough is ready. Está lista. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna need plenty of oil. Vas a necesitar mucho aceite para freírla. You're gonna need also something like this. Vas a necesitar algo así con, un, con servilleta para que absorba el aceite cuando lo saques. Now, you're gonna need something like this to absorb the oil after you take them out. You're gonna put a little bit of oil. Vas a poner un poquito de aceite en tus manos, like this. Okay, then you're gonna take one of the balls. Let me show you. Look, this is the right technique to do the Johnny Cake. Esta es la técnica correcta de hacer los Johnny Cake. Mira, like that. See, from the side. You see how, 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 uh, how it stretches this dough? Look at that. This is what you're looking for. You see? You can do it the size you want, it doesn't matter. Puedes hacerlo de, del size que tú quieras. And then you put it in the hot oil like this. Check this out. Mira pa' ahí. You see? And then you let it cook. Lo dejas cocinar. And then you pinch. Le, 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 le rompes esa bombola que está ahí. And then you take the next dough. Coges la, la siguiente bola. You're gonna do this. Mira. Look how I'm doing it. I'm stretching the dough from the sides. Like that. You see how this dough is? You see? It looks like gum. Check this out. That's the real Johnny Keke right there. The real deal. See? You gotta be careful so you don't break it. Tiene que tener cuidado para que no se te rompa. You turn it like this. This is so hard, you gotta be really careful. Really, really, really careful. See? You let it cook. You see how that's cooking? All right, you see how I have my dough here ready? That's what you're looking for. 
Y you take something like this, usas algo así para que lo puedas sacar. Alright. ¿Sí? It's easier. ¿Sí? The oil, you make sure you take most of the oil out. ¿Sí? Then you put it like this. And then you take the next one really, 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 really carefully. Coge la próxima bien cuidadosamente y la pones ahí. ¿Sí? And that's how you do the yaniqueques dominicano. Y así es como tú haces los yaniqueques dominicanos. ¿Sí? You pinch, lo, lo, le cortas la, la, la bubble, and then, all right, let's do another one. See, you gotta move it like this, lo mueves así. You move it like this so it takes oil. Let me tell you something. Déjame decirte algo. Tú puedes hacer los yaniqueques del tamaño que tú quieras, pero los yaniqueques tradicionales de Santo Domingo son así como esos, latigosos y grandotes. ¿Ok? Y el sartén, mientras más grande es, mucho mejor. Yo lo hago de este tamaño porque es el sartén que yo tengo de ese tamaño. I do it like this size because I have this size of a pen. But if you have a bigger pan, you can stretch it more and you can make a big yanikeke. Puedes hacer un yanikeke bien grandote. You can make them just like this. You know, it's small. Just like a piece of bread like that. But it's not good. No es bueno because the purpose of the dough, the dough being so jolly and stretchy like this, is so you can stretch it. El propósito de, de la que la masa esté así como esta, es para que tú puedas estrecharlo. Ok? Check this out. This one is ready. You see how they're coming out? And they are so delicious. Let's do one more, okay? One more. See? I, I don't even have to force. No tengo ni que forzarlo. Porque esta masa está bien latigosa. See? This one is a little bit more small. Este es un poquito más pequeño. And you can do it the size you want. Okay, my friends. I'm going to keep frying my Jani Keques. Voy a continuar friendo mi Jani Keques. Y voy a regresar para atrás a mostrarte cómo se ven. See you later. Okay? Okay, my friends. I'm back after a few minutes frying all the Jani Keques. Now they are ready. Ok, mis amigos, ya estoy de regreso. Después de algunos minutos de estar friendo los yaniqueques dominicano. <laughs> Now they are ready. Let me show them to you. I can't wait. Déjame mostrarte cómo se ven. Check this out. ¡Tada! Mira qué bellos. Mira. Look how beautiful. Look how big they are. Mira qué grande están. You see? Look, that's what you're looking for. Look at that. Nice and gummy. Mira, I did them in different sizes. Lo hice en diferentes tamaños para que tú lo hagas. Y puse una, unas roditas aquí de salami. Tú puedes acompañarlo con lo que tú quieras. Pero tradicionalmente, in my country, traditionally, we accompany this with salami or boiled egg. En mi país lo acompañamos con salami 
uh, y o huevos sancochados. Esta es una receta de mi mamá. This is my mother's recipe that I'm, I'm sharing with you. Que yo estoy compartiendo con todos ustedes. Ok. So now is the time when me and you, we're going to taste this recipe together. Ahora es cuando tú y yo vamos a, a probar esta receta juntitos. Ok. <laughs> so let me take a piece. You take one of this. This is the way you eat the Johnny Cake case. You put it like this. You take some salamis like this. Coge salami así. Okay. And you go like this, my friend. You double it. You double it. And then you go like this. <laughs> this is so good. It's not funny. This is so good. Oh my God. Listen. If you do this recipe, you will remember me forever. Me vas a recordar para siempre. We accompany this with this also. A half cup of chocolate. Lo acompañamos con una taza de chocolate. Look on my page for this recipe. This is Mexican chocolate. Busca por el video de esta receta de chocolate mexicano. It's so delicious. I did that for you also so you can put everything together okay thank you so much for watching my video gracias por ver el video thank you for giving me a little of your time gracias por darme un poquito de tu tiempo i hope you enjoy it espero que lo disfrutes and i hope you make the recipe espero que tú hagas la receta let me know if you like it let me know what's up déjame saber si te gusta Déjame saber qué pasó. Deja tu comentario en la página. Like the video. Visit my Facebook page. Um, Bernice's Bakery and Culinary Delight. That's the name of the Facebook page. Put a like. Okay. Share the recipe. Make it yours. And enjoy it. Because I do this with love for all of you. Thank you so much. Kisses for you from me. Besos para ti. De mi parte. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. There's a beautiful day headed your way. Keep your head up, up, up. You'll be okay. A beautiful day waiting for you. Just open your eyes.